Alright, today's lesson is going to be about TCP and UDP. Now, TCP and UDP are two of the hardest working protocols here at Networks Incorporated. They work in our transport layer division. And I can remember the day when we first hired them. It wasn't easy making the decision to hire them both. You see, our job advertised that we needed some protocols that dealt exclusively with processes. Processes are all of the simultaneous runs of your program that are working on your computer. Now, if any of those processes wants to send or receive data from another computer across the internet, it would be the job of the protocol to round up all of those requests from your computer and then send them to the network layer. And our organization is really quite pleased with the input of TCP and UDP. And I can remember the day when they first walked into our office. Very different interviews, I must say. Oh, hi. Welcome to Networks, Inc. I'll be your interviewer. Good afternoon. I'm quite How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to be here. Well, sorry, no new handshakes, man. <laughs> Great, let's get started. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is TCP. That's TCP for Transmission Control Protocol. Excuse me, just one thing, please. It's been irritating me a bit. Well, my name's UDP, User Datagram Protocol. And uh, my philosophy is just, you know, go with the flow, you know? Right, so TCP. So you'll see from my previous experience that my philosophy to processes is simple, basic control. You'll never find a lost packet in my transmissions. You can see, ma'am, I care about quality over quantity. I make sure and take the utmost care that all of my packets are sent and received. Does that mean that sometimes it may take a bit longer? Yes. Sometimes it does, but I believe that accuracy is more important than speed. Don't you think so, ma'am? Yes, I suppose I do, but let's talk a little bit about this guarantee. That's quite an impressive claim. To make sure that all your packets are sent and received, I mean, you deal with a lot of processes. And some packets may get lost or may get corrupted. How do you guarantee that those packets will reach their destination? Well, first we start off with a handshake, much as I did at the beginning of this interview. <laughs> and, and that's to acknowledge that both parties are ready to send and receive data. And as you can see, I've spent many years and worked with many collaborators to perfect something that I call acknowledgements or or acts for short and when a packet is received an acknowledgement is sent back to the sender and when an acknowledgement is sent back to the sender that lets the sender know that a packet has been received and if there is an issue with the acknowledgement then that means the packet can be reset simple as that very impressive. But with all of these retransmissions, wouldn't it get a little bit congested? Yes, it did cause problems for me at first. But then I came up with a policy called congestion control to, to control the flow of the communication. As I mentioned, my philosophy is all about control. And I want to make sure that the information that I send doesn't run haywire, 
I want to be in control of the information, not let the information take control of me. So sometimes I restrict the sending processes so the communication isn't clogged. It seems like you came prepared and have great qualifications, and you've obviously thought of every contingency. I'll let you know. Thank you very much, ma'am. After all, processes are my life. Now, I look forward to hearing from you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Now, um, UDP? Yup. So, go with the flow. Can you elaborate? Yup. Can you elaborate now? Yeah, so here's the thing. I ran into the TCP girl outside. Super uptight, ma'am. And I just wanna let you know, I, I don't work that way. You don't. No, 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 here's how I work. If a process wants me to send something off, I'll send it off. That's it. That's it. That's it. No handshake. Nope. No congestion control. Nope. And what if the packets get lost or corrupted? That's their problem. I see. Well, I must say that your approach is uh, different, to say the least. But you really seem to know what you're doing. So, sell me. Why should I entrust my processes to you? Ma'am, imagine you're watching a YouTube video and your connection is not that great. And the YouTube video gets interrupted. It stops playing. Now tell me, what would you rather want to happen? Would you rather want to get on with the video? Won't mind missing a few frames? Would you rather like sit there and wait for like a whole minute just to get those few frames? Well, I would want to get on with the video as quickly as possible. Exactly. Not all types of data need a guarantee. You see, sometimes it's okay to sacrifice accuracy for speed. You get my drift? My motto is get it there now. If somebody sends me some information, I'll receive it. And if I send them some information, I'll trust them to receive it. But I did my job now. I care about speed. And so if something gets lost along the way, who cares? At least I got it there fast. I see. Well, that certainly is an eye-opening approach. Thank you for your time. And, uh, we'll let you know. I didn't get the job, did I? That's okay. But I'm gonna tell you something. I'm thinking on a higher level here. Video is the future. And you'll be coming back to me. They're missing a golden opportunity. We ended up hiring them both. Why not have a choice of accuracy and speed? Two very different personalities, definitely. But if the internet's any measure, things have been working out great. Here ends the lesson. <laughs>